welcome to another video in this video I will be doing face masks so I have three different masks that I'm going to try out the first mask that I have is by Freeman and it is a deep clearing manuka honey and tea tree oil clay mask and cleanser and it's for oily skin or skin that is prone to break out. So basically with this one, you just put one layer of it all over your face if you wanna use it as a mask. You just put one layer all over your face and make sure it's even. For this mask, you leave it on your face for three to five minutes. You can do more, but it says that you shouldn't do more than 10 minutes. So after it's on your face and it's all even, you leave it on for three to five minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. Okay, so I've been wearing this mask now for about five minutes. My face feels so it feels tight, like, it's not even completely dry. I mean, it's dry enough, well, that's dry, but the sides are not really dry, but it said don't leave it on your face for longer than 10 minutes, so I'm kind of going halfway. So, it smells really good. It's, my face just feels really tight, so I'm gonna rinse it off. After you rinse your face off with warm water, you can either towel dry it like I'm doing here, or you can just let your face air dry. Now I'm going to mask number two. This mask is by Body Raves. It's a charcoal detoxifying mask and it's supposed to remove impurities and benefit clear skin while nourishing and cleansing. Before doing this mask, be sure that your face is clean and dry. The texture of this mask was pretty weird. It was like sticky, but very soft at the same time. So you wanna make sure that the mask is as flat as possible on your face and then you wear it for 20 minutes and when you remove it just rinse your face with warm water and dry with a hand towel this mask is like pretty much restricting my lips right now it actually feels pretty tight like <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because it just feels really weird. But I had to leave it on for 20 minutes. And I've only had it on for like two. So I have like 18 minutes left. <sighs> my face feels so tight. Like you guys don't understand. I can't move anything but my lips and my eyes. Like the rest of my face is just kind of stuck in one spot. And this one, this one doesn't really have too much of a smell. It just feels really smooth. Like it's very... I don't know, the texture is weird, like it, it feels, I don't even know what it feels like. It just feels weird, but it feels good at the same time, it's just that my face is very constricted. So, we'll see what everything's like after these 20 minutes is up. The closer I got to my 20 minute mark, the more my face has started to tingle. And it's tingling, now it's starting, I feel like it's starting to itch now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing off my face. Okay, so my last facial mask, 
This mask is pretty interesting. It caught my eye when I was walking down the little face mask aisle. This mask, as you can see, who, who wouldn't want to just try this mask? Just, you know, it just looks interesting. I like weird stuff. This looks weird, so I'm gonna try it out. So it does not say what it's supposed to do. It doesn't, it, it doesn't say. It's not for any specific skin type. It's just a mask. There's not really much instruction on the back. Um, yeah, so we're just, we'll try it out and see what happens. It's nothing like Jello for real, like. So this mask was pretty weird, um, I didn't really like the texture of it, and the mouthpiece was a little bit too small, and it just seemed like I couldn't get the mask to fit correctly on my face. Okay, so I have it on, but this piece right here just won't, it, it, it ripped, or I ripped it, but it was an accident, but it's like, it's too small for my, for my mouth, so it ripped. So this one says that you should keep it on your face for 20 minutes or longer. It feels very weird, like, it literally feels like jello like that's the texture of it it's very soft and it smells so good i look fancy okay okay so i'm gonna leave this sitting on my face i'm gonna leave it on for like 30 minutes i'm gonna go watch a show or something having some mustache malfunctions all right so i'm gonna leave this on for at least 30 or 40 minutes and I'm gonna come back, take it off, and we will see which one I like better. So after sitting with this mask on my face for about 15 minutes, I felt like the mask was starting to slide off. And when I took the mask off, my face felt like ice. There's pretty much no other difference except for the fact that my face was super cold. My skin feels really cold. I don't really know what that mask was supposed to do. I don't know, it just feels really cold. So in a couple days, if I have some breakouts, we know that it's because I use, I probably use too many masks in one day. But if I had to choose a mask, um, the Spa Life Gold Mask, it was, it was an interesting mask. I would use this mask probably like just for fun, not really for actual benefits for my face because it, I don't, my face is cold. Like that's, that's really the only difference I felt between like that mask and the other mask, my face is cold. That's it. Now, this Body Raves charcoal mask, this is definitely something that I will buy again. And it was only $1.25. $1.25 at Five Below. So, and I really liked it. It, I really liked it. It made my face tingle when it was like almost time to take the mask off. And... I liked it my face was very soft afterwards this one right here this mask this is the Freeman 
manuka honey and tea tree oil mask this is a mask that I will probably keep on handy and use at least two to three times a week I really like this one I love the smell of it and it's for oily and skin that's prone to breakouts like mine so I really like this one so between these two I don't know on a scale from 1 to 10 I think this one for me would be a 10 this one would be an 8 and I just keep both of them on deck because these are two that I would probably use a lot so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it try out some masks let me know what your favorites are and I'll try them out um, yeah, I'm up to trying new stuff, even if it is on my face. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, and remember to comment and subscribe. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, emphasis on try. I'm going to try to post a video at least once a week. Now that I've said it, I know I'm going to have to make it come true. So, thumbs up comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get the notifications and i will see you all in my next video bye